Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular day, where I do trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos, I review YouTube channels, occasionally I'll review a movie, but really, I just do whatever the hell I want. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular dude down in the basement. Have you seen any of those helping the homeless videos? There's a lot of them out there that are fake, but I think this one's real. It's, I'll tell you the channel name in a minute because I can't remember, but it's called From $20 in Trash to a New Life, One Year Later, Homeless No More. So let's check this out right now. Last year I met Adam. Sold me a Bambi picture for $20. Turned out it was an animation self. The problem is I don't know where to find him. So I'm gonna try some of the back alleys around here and see if I can find him maybe uh, digging, looking for something. If not, um, I'll head downtown and try uh, one of the shelters down there. I wonder where this is at. his usual spots would be. I am not having much luck here, and I'm really hoping that I'll find somebody who's looking through the trash that might know him. Uh, at least that way I can narrow it down, but um, I'm not seeing anybody out today. I know there's probably cycles for when um, trash collection is, so there's probably a reason why I'm not finding anybody, but I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, after doing some searching, I found a guy who is friends with Adam. Uh, he's actually right behind my car right now. Not Adam, his, his buddy is. So he's given me a place where I can find him. He said he might be hanging out near a 7-Eleven. Buddy there was kind enough to let me know where he, uh, where he might be. Yeah, with any luck, we'll go track him down. Okay, so, I am on a mission to find Adam right now. Uh, apparently he hangs out near 7-Eleven, uh, not too far from my shop. So I'm driving there, his buddy put me on the right direction. Um, he doesn't know it that uh, he's got uh, over $1,600 waiting for him. And uh, he does rough it, uh, does live on- I love stuff like this when it's real. Those fake ones out there get me so irritated, but I love it when they're real. Streets, so. I would love to maybe see if he'll let me pay for rent for him for a few months or, or do something with the money just to make sure that he's going to be safe too. But I'm hoping that I can find the guy here uh, with any luck. Uh, we'll be tracking him down within minutes. Okay, well apparently this is where he normally hangs out. Not the nicest location. No. But he's not here now. All I can hope is that his friend tells him to contact me when he runs into him next. Adam contacts me. He's sure today is going to be a surreal cool. day for both of us. I mean, really, we've met a number of times. I mean, he's come in my store. He's had some stuff for sale. It's been very transactional. Um, but, you know, every time he comes in, I ask, how is he doing? Is he finding a place to stay? Like, I do actually worry about him. Um, so I'm still a stranger though. I'm just some guy that he barely knows. And uh, I've offered to take him out for lunch today and kind of chat. He has no idea at this point what's going on. Um, and really, I, I have no idea surprises. what's going to happen. I love it. I don't know um, what his reaction is going to be. Um, you know, I really don't know. It's going to be a surprise today. Uh, but I do know this. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's going to be uh, even made more weird and strange by the fact that I'm driving my 53 Nash today. It just happens to be the vehicle that I'm driving <laughs> in, in this weather. 
So even though it's cold and chilly, and uh, I'm up here in Canada, and oh, uh, Canada. I'm driving a super crazy weird old car, but uh, that's just the way it is. <laughs> My wife has put up with it, and so will Adam today as he drives around with me in this old thing. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go off to the store pretty soon and uh, meet up with him. So there's a couple things you guys should know. One is, well, of course we have an antique store. If you didn't know that from watching the channel, that's what we do for a living. This was a decision to really just follow our dreams and have fun. Uh, if you've ever had or owned your own business, the first couple of years is pretty darn tough. So we're kind of in that treading wall. So I'm thinking that this channel normally doesn't do this kind of thing. Water phase right now. But that doesn't mean that we're going to try and uh, make our profit off of people that are disadvantaged or having a tough time. Because I know how important it is to have that extra money, which is why we want to make sure that we give him his fair share. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. The other thing is, things weren't always rosy for me. I have a very loving mom and I had a very loving dad. He passed away uh, about a month and a half ago. But my mom worked three jobs for a while. We didn't have a home. Uh, we struggled with poverty and with homelessness ourselves when I was a kid. And for junior high, much of junior high, um, we lived in motels. In fact, around, uh, I'd say the early 1990s, this motel right here was home to me, um, which, you know, they've renovated a little bit since then. Trust it's me, it's better than living on the street, but still. And it's nothing really fancy now, but uh, this is probably like a 1950s motel, and it hadn't been renovated since then. It was awful. I hated it, <laughs> but I had my mom and dad, and we had absolutely nothing. What's funny is I distinctly remember at this stage of my life when I was probably in grade seven or eight that I made a list of things that I thought um, thought that I wanted. And I remember just wanting to be normal. And what I thought of being normal was a house, a car, you know, <laughs> eventually maybe kids and a wife. Um, and I just wanted to be normal. I didn't want to be, you know, exceptional or anything. I just wanted to have a normal life. And I have that. You know, it's funny how when you don't have much to start with. All you want is just to be, like he said, normal. But when you are born like with a little bit extra, you always want more and more and more and more. It's pretty selfish when you think about it. That now, and I've had that for a while, but now I find myself wanting to be as crazy and weird and, and out there as I can. Um, and I think, uh, you know, I'm well on my way to becoming eccentric, <laughs> at least I hope so, uh, in the good way. But, you know, you just have to chase your dreams and chase your goals. And I really hope that um, Adam, whatever stage of life he's at right now, we can uh, try and set him up for success and set him on the right path. So this is just a small thing, um, but uh, we're gonna go meet up with him right away here and um, start our day. All right, well, in about 10 minutes time, he should be showing up at my door here. So we'll get started. And at this point, he doesn't know what's happening. Uh, he thinks it's just an interview for my YouTube channel, just to kind of talk about his greatest finds. I love stuff like this. So yeah, you're probably wondering, like this is like kind of strange for a guy to like meet up and chat with you and all that stuff, right? Yeah, I didn't know what was going on. I yeah. I this first mark, he said you're looking for me and then- Well, I couldn't find you. Yeah. I was driving up and down all the alleys really? trying to find you. I went to the 7-Eleven down the road. Yeah. I went all over the place trying to find you. Really? And I'll tell you why. <laughs> so remember you brought in that Bambi picture? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I put it on eBay. Right. Um, and I thought, well, whatever we get out of this thing, I want to split with you 50-50. So that, I thought that would be fair because you found it. And, you know, if I made a little bit of profit, that's okay. But I didn't just make a little bit of profit. Oh, wow. So he basically gave up all of it for him. He gave him half of it in cash, and then the rest of it he paid for his motel and bought him some clothes and food and stuff. And then take it home. Uh, excited. Uh, yeah, just excited. Can't wait. Yeah. And you've never been on a train this long before, hey? Not three days, no. Yeah. Well, you're looking good. You got some new duds going on there. 
new backpack, <laughs> looking sharp. So yeah, really glad that uh, you're heading home. It's making everybody happy here. Has anyone ever taken Amtrak before? I did twice. I did the first time from, I think it was from, uh, from Salt Lake City to Sacramento, which is like, not really that far, but it took like 24 hours. It was miserable. Miserable. I did it in just like the regular seats. It, it was horrible. And the second time, I actually got a little sleeping room, so it wasn't as bad, but Oh my gosh, it took forever. I couldn't believe how long it took. Well, it's gonna be an experience for him. I'd say it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, Adam. <laughs> well, off he goes on his way. It's been a long adventure, it's been a long day. Thousand. I'm not real good at this, but I'll get it. A homeless man who found a valuable frame in a West Edmonton dumpster will use his earnings to reunite with his family in Ontario. Adam Gillen sold an authentic animated cell of Disney classic Bambi to Alex Archbold for twenty dollars, the Curiosity Inc. Okay, I think that's the name of the channel, Curiosity Inc. Owner then sold it on eBay for thirty-seven hundred dollars and gave Adam half. But Archbold's good deed did not stop there. He set up a GoFundMe for Adam to get him off the streets and help him move back to Ontario, where his mother and his nineteen-year-old live, and where his three other children are moving. That's kind of cool. I didn't know if he was dead or alive, said Patty Gillen, Adam's mother, and I didn't know how to get in touch with him. I am in London, Ontario. I'm going to a Christmas party with my good friend Adam. I'm going to go uh, load up <laughs> my car, go uh, visit him. It's been about a year since I've seen him, see how he's doing. Man, I love stuff like this, especially like this time of the year. You know, this I can't show up at a Christmas party empty-handed, so I'm going yeah. to the grocery store to maybe find some snacks or something I can bring. Uh, hate going to these places if you're not somewhat prepared, so see if I can find something for the party. Fruit platter seems pretty safe. I don't know how many people are going to be there, but this is a pretty good size one. And here we are. Welcome, Adam. Wow. While, Look how much better we look. Since we've seen each other. So tell me, how how has the last year of your, your life been? Oh, uh, it's been... Good. Uh, he looks family. 10 years younger. I see we got at least. some friends and family looking very yeah, Christmassy today. Over. Everybody's looking all great. I didn't bring a Christmas sweater today, but you guys are looking awesome. Yeah. And so you've had this great group of people that have kept you uh, safe and happy. And um, so you get you get back from Edmonton off that via rail train. That's the last time I saw you. Yep. And what's what's the next thing that happened? Who picked you up? Uh, I, I was a little early, so I I guess I got a cab. 
And I, I just uh, kind of surprised him here. And, and that must have been a big shot for you yeah, guys. Yeah, it was. We were waiting, waiting to go get him, and there he shows up. <laughs> well, it's good because that was a long train ride. Three, yeah, three days. Three, what do you do on a train for three days? Uh, <laughs> try and sleep, or there was a. I tried to. I went up into the front, or the observation deck. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. And, well, I probably don't need a train ride anytime soon again. No. <laughs> You're good for that. Yeah. Nothing gets via rail, but three days on a train, I think, would, would put anybody through. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you, you got back, you're back to work. You're... I'm a taper by trade, so I've been, that's what I've been doing ever. Like, Taping, and drywalling. Taping, drywalling, plaster repair. Okay. And there's probably a lot of people who need that kind of a work around here. Tons of work, there's tons of work. Yeah, there's I noticed there's of... lots of heritage buildings, lots of historic sites, so probably a yeah. lot. And you were working on a, a heritage home not that long ago too, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yep. It was just more of a rental, like a rental, and but we do. I mainly do uh, uh, like the brand new homes, so new, new, uh, new construction. New construction. Okay. Yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past year. Like just uh, take the new houses and takes about a week to do a house. Well, very cool. And we've got uh, people showing up here with snacks and food. So I guess we're all just hanging out here having a party today. Yeah. Merry Christmas. So Adam has also been filming himself keeping busy at work. That's you drywalling there. It's about ready to, to coat the, the tape. That's uh, what I'm saying. You got to do this and put this on YouTube so people can watch and learn from you on how to do uh, how yeah. to do proper repairs on their house. He looks so much better now. Like a year later, he looks so much better. <laughs> So how does the game work? So I think my, my card, my card gets first pick, and then the gift, the next person, if, if they like the gift that the first person grabs, well, they can, they can steal, steal it. it, and it can be stolen twice or three times. This is the annual Woodstock show. I've never been here before. Hopefully we'll find some good treasures inside. So it looks like the hall kind of goes all the way around the corner. Um, yeah, I don't know. You don't collect too much, do you? I mean, you like finding cool things, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just really don't have much time, really. Kind of a man of well, few words, today's but the day. Today's the day. seems like a cool okay. guy, though. Well, I see records. Toy cars. Well, I'll do a little browse and see what there is. So this might be a surprise, but you can eat. After being homeless for a number of years, it'd probably make you kind of guarded about talking to people and stuff like that. That's how, that's kind of how he strikes me. Even to sell individual Lego figures too. So if you go through your boxes of Lego and find separate little figures at home, you can put them together in sets like this or sell them by the each. And um, yeah, people pay up. They're called mini figs. Really, really valuable. So if you ever go through a Lego bucket or find those at a yard sale or something, good value there. Did you ever have one of these? Uh, no. I did. I remember that. You gotta knock your block off, and then their head pops up. <laughs> this was kind of a neat piece. Hey, Adam. Yep. I was looking at this. It's the Dick Tracy two way electronic wrist radio. That's not, you know. This was supposed to be high-tech at the time and stuff of the future. Now you can get your smartwatch, but this is what they figured a smartwatch would look like back in the 40s and 50s. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess your kid would have run around the house and had a little walkie-talkie set on their wrist. I ended up getting this for $40 Canadian, which is probably the equivalent of 32 or so US. That is in the original package from Remco. That's a neat toy, and that is a good deal, in my opinion. So that's it. What'd you think? Pretty neat. Yeah, a lot of people collecting all sorts of things. Yeah. Uh, what was the coolest thing you saw? There's a few things, but uh, I like looking at like the old coins and stuff. The old coins, yeah. There's coins, pocket watches. Yeah. Um, so glad you came with me today. It's it was a really good reconnected visit with you. It's awesome. Adam and I That's so cool. I'm gonna put the link to that channel down in the description. Curiosity Inc. I think is the name of it. Now. How about a joke? My doctor told me to eat more Taco Bell. Well, actually he said less McDonald's, but I'm pretty sure I know what he meant. Thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, 
comment, subscribe, hashtag Mean Gene, all that fun stuff. And if you like this video, tell all your friends, leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you next time.